And so if we want to calibrate the uh, machine, uh, then uh, one way to do it is uh, to ask it to go a specific uh, amount of uh, millimeters and then uh, measuring, and here I have a 30 centimeter long caliber, so I can measure how it will actually do and then adjust the uh, parameter accordingly. Uh, if you want to access the uh, the uh, the parameters, uh, you can issue a double dollar command, and then um, you will get a readout from the machine, from the gerbil sheet, and there you have all the the different parameters starting from dollar one, and all the way to dollar one three two. The ones we should uh, be looking at is um, the steps per millimeter. So here we have uh, 40 uh, for X, 40 for Y, and uh, 188 uh, for Z axis. Uh, if they are not correct, uh, if we don't get the right amount of millimeters out of a certain command, of course then what we do is we simply go in and change here the, uh, the steps per millimeter amount and you do that by issuing a command like dollar uh, 100 equal and then the right number that you would like to uh, use instead. So let's see how uh, how we are moving on the machine with the current settings. So on the computer I'm ready to issue a command x200 uh, which should uh, make the machine move uh, 200 millimeters. Right now it is exactly sitting at uh, 20 millimeters, so if it works it uh, and it's precise, it should end up at uh, 220. And let's go and read it. And it's almost there. I think it needed to go a little bit, maybe uh, three tenths of a millimeter more. So now using a, a calculator, I simply adjusted the number. Uh, so I said 250, which was the post, the supposed uh, move, divided by 249.7, and then multiplied that with the current setting, which was 40.0, and then I had changed the dollar 100 now to read uh, 40.048, and then let's see if that actually helped us at all, moving in the right direction. I will issue a x2. 50, so it should go to 270, and it is spot on. So uh, this is the right number for that axis, and I'll essentially do the same for uh, Y. So now I have aligned the uh, Y axis at the caliber 0, and then I will move uh, Y 250. And see where we end up. It was more than half a millimeter short of uh, the 250. So I'll do the adjustment again. So now I have changed the uh, the parameter for Y axis, same way. So I said the 250 divided by the 249.5 that it actually made, and then times 40, which was the current no, uh, value for steps per millimeter, and that uh, gave me uh, 40.08 and I have put that in uh, at the dollar uh, 101 uh, instead. So uh, then let's see how that move it moves now. Yeah, and now it's right on 250. So that's uh, that's the calibration for those two axes and then we'll continue with the uh, Z axis. So for the C calibration I will uh, use a little more things here. I will uh, be using my uh, zero plate here and I have a piece of aluminum profile. It's supposed to be uh, 20 millimeters. It's actually a little short of that. Uh, so I will compensate for that and then I have a set of feeler gauges. Um, and then um, uh, I will also be using my digital caliber which is uh, one uh, in the better end. Uh, so uh, first I will uh, set the uh, height using the, uh, the, the, uh, the zero plate. 
so I have issued the order G38.2 Z minus 15 F20 which will make it move up to 15 millimeter with a speed of 20 until it hits and it has now uh, so now I know that uh, the um, the spindle tip is the thickness of this plate above the work table and then I will go and tell the computer uh, that by issuing a uh, G92 order G92 space Z and then this plate is uh, 3.95 so that makes the set now on the computer go to 3.95 okay then I will reposition the machine to, to touch the plate or the work surface and that's right there and then I will move it up 20 millimeters That's it. And then let's see how this one fits under. It is pretty good. There's a little movement here. I'll just use the feeler gauge to find out. So this is 0.1 millimeter. I can get that under. Whoops. And I can just get 1.5 millimeter under so I think I will do an adjustment for this so the compensation I need to make is of course the uh, 0.15 millimeter that I had as a gap and then I will also have to uh, check out the uh, the size of this one and you can see it's not fully uh, 20 millimeters so I'll add another 0. Uh, uh, 0.04 millimeter so out of the 20 millimeter, that means that I actually only moved 19.82. Uh, so now I have it touching the uh, workplace or work uh, surface, and then I will ask it to go 19.95 uh, millimeter up, which is the true size of this one. And I still have a little gap. I'll have it do a, a third. Uh, calibration so third time around we have moved it back to the uh, after the adjustment moved it back and I'll move it up the thickness of this uh, piece which is 19.95 and now you can barely move it up and down uh, just to illustrate let's take Point one millimeter you can't get it under so this is really nice now.